Hello everyone. I'm going to briefly discuss how to import a Google Earth image and surface into AutoCAD Civil 3D 2011. Recently I had received a couple of inquiries in which people were attempting to do this and would get stuck at a certain point, basically about 49% of the importation process. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So I'm in a new drawing here, drawing 2, and in the settings tab, if we look under surfaces and we expand that, and then under commands, we'll find uh, two particular commands that we're going to take a good look at, which include import GE data, which stands for import Google Earth data, and import GE surface. Now the second one, import Google Earth surface, is strictly just to bring in the surface, and GE data would be if we're going to introduce a surface in an image. So I'm going to right click on one of them and then choose edit command settings. When we do so, we'll see the edit command settings dialog box and within that there's a Google Earth option. So if I go to the Google Earth options and expand that, we'll see currently that it's set up to be Google Earth rows 100, Google Earth columns 100, which uh, as we multiply the 100 by 100, we'd end up with 10,000 vertices in an existing surface. Well, Google Earth uh, a few years ago put in a regulator into their process that would allow up to about 5,000 points to be brought in under certain scenarios. So we're going to change these values to be 70 by 71, which will give us uh, 4,970 points. And that will be a good value that will put us underneath this 5,000 point regulator so that we can bring that surface in. So now, if we're looking at a particular area in Google Earth and in Civil 3D we wish to bring this across, so we go to the Insert tab of the ribbon and go to the Google Earth option. We'll drop that down and we'll see we have Import Google Earth Image, Import Google Earth Surface, Import Google Earth Image and Surface, which is the, so we see there, the Import GE Data command. And as we initiate that command, it asks us then for where we're basically going to place it. So it's grabbing the information from the Google Earth server. And we're going to choose to use the coordinate system. So we'll hit a return. And there is the image. And it's going ahead and bringing us the surface. And you'll see it zipped right past the 49%, almost at 100% at the moment, just finalizing the final bits of data transfer. And there we are. We see that we have the Google Earth image, the Google Earth surface. If we look on the Prospector tab, we'll see that we now have Surface, Surface 1. I'm going to rename that. So to do so, we'll go to Surface Properties. On the Information tab, we'll call this Existing Ground, or EG-GE, to me, Existing Ground from Google Earth. And we'll go ahead and close that dialog box. And there you have it. We were able to import a surface from Google Earth by changing the settings. Oh, that reminds me. We will want to do the exact same thing under the import GE surface command. So we'll go to edit Google Earth options. We'll change those values from 100 by 100 to 70 by 71. Now, what we'll want to do so that we don't have to do this in every single drawing, of course, is to open up uh, any all and all templates that we may feel are appropriate to do this and make those changes to those two commands in all of the templates. That concludes this particular discussion.